Hi everyone, welcome to another week for Ross Q&A. My name is Rodrigo, and I'm going to be answering this question I found on Ross Answers, in which... I'm sorry, in which this person is trying to uh, autonomously navigate uh, with TurtleBot 3 in Gazebo. So he says he's um, trying to follow this tutorial and when he launches his simulation dot launch file, this TurtleBot 3 Gazebo simulation dot launch, the TurtleBot does not move as expected. So um, in this link that he says, uh, we can see that they're trying to do a uh, slam node and map its environment in order to autonomously navigate. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is use the packages, the repositories from Robotis that they provide, which are the manufacturers of TurtleBot 3, in order to, to do this uh, tutorial. So uh, to do this, we're going to go to the constructsim.com, the constructsim.com, um, and we're going to, if you don't have an account, you can create one and log in. And we can go to this left panel here and click on My Rossjects and create one on this red button right here. Um, so for distribution, we can select Melodic, for example. Um, let's do Melodic. And there you go, we can call it TurtleBot 3 Navigation or whatever you want. And to for the description, I'm just going to paste the link for the question. We just said Ross answers. So we go ahead and create it. So you can see how over here the repository was made. So we can just, the repository, I'm sorry, the Rossject, and we can run it. Um, and while it's loading, let me just go ahead and show you um, our platform, the construct, which is a great place in order to for you to learn robotics. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an experienced programmer, you can come here and choose from over 50 robotics courses. Um, so I recommend you uh, make an account and start learning right away. Uh, we'll just go back to our Rossject, and the first thing we're going to do, we can close this Jupyter Notebook. First thing we're going to do is uh, enter our, you can see how there's uh, four workspaces. We're going to enter the simulation one inside our SRC folder. We're going to clone all of these repositories, these three, which are necessary for um, the simulation that robot is made. So we're just going to go ahead and go to this green button and copy the link that they provide you. Uh, and you can go back to the Rossject and type in git clone and the link. And we're going to do that for all three uh, repositories. So the next one, TurtleBot messages. It's taking a while. We'll just let it clone it. There you go. Um, and do the same for the other two. Once you have those three, uh, type in cd dot dot and source your environment with source devil setup bash, setup dot bash. And then Ross pack profile. Uh, this makes Ross go through the, uh, the list of packages that we've just cloned. Um, and now we can go ahead and launch our simulation. So to do that, just type in Ross launch TurtleBot3 underscore gazebo. And here, this guy is um, using 
Terabot 3 Gazebo, Terabot 3 Simulation Launch. And actually, you can see if you don't know the name of it or um, you want to see the list of what Robotis has to offer, you can just type in tab here, you see, and you can see all the options. So if one of them doesn't, if you don't like one, you can just go into another one and try it out. So I'm just going to use the one I always use, which is the world.launch. And we forgot to specify our model. So to do that, just type export and then this TurtleBot 3 model and burger. That's what the one we're going to use. And now that it's launching, to see it, go to this button down here and hit open gazebo. There you go, you can see that the gazebo simulation of a little world has been made. And the first thing we're going to do is to map this world. So to do that, we're going to open up a new shell and specify the model like this. And then Ross launch turtle bot three and it's called slam. And the one we want is called turbo three underscore slam dot launch. So now you can see that this node is doing something. It's mapping its environment. And it's using the scan, uh, the scan on the top in order to do that. And to see what it's doing, go to this button graphical tools and RVIS will open uh, because that launch node includes an RVIS configuration, which is great. Um, so hit this button to resize it. Just maximize right here. There you go. So you can see how it's starting to map it. So what we're going to do is, um, so you can see, I'll do this. So we're going to use the teleop node. So open up a new shell and don't forget this. And the command is ross launch turtle bot three teleop and then just hit tab and it auto completes it for you. So it tells you to use these keys to move around. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna move around in order to get a better get a better map. So you can see how the map is starting to get built now that the laser sees all those locations. And this is why I like this, uh, this simulation, the world one, because it's, it's got all the basics and it's small, so you don't have to take a long time building uh, the map. Of course, if, if you wanna, if you're working with your own simulation or you wanna, I don't know, go through the entire house, uh, there, there's a house simulation in there that's really good, uh, but it would take a long time to, to show how it works. So there you go. You can see how right now, careful not to crash. Well, it doesn't matter if you crash because it's a simulation, guys. Um, so next thing we're going to do is use this map and save it. Mm, so we are going to open up a new shell. And the command to save this map is Rust run map server map saver there you go you can see that it's done uh, and um, hit this code editor button right here and the uh, IDE will open and you can see here that it saved it on our home 
directory right here, these two files. So these files are what we're going to use with our navigation, launch and navigate autonomously. So um, we're going to go ahead and launch our navigation node. But before that, we're going to kill our mapping node because we're done mapping. You're going to shut down over here. So that navigation node is ROS launch turtleboss 3 navigation and it's called turtleboss 3 navigation.launch and we have to specify the map so to do that just type in mat file and then do this in order to specify that is in your home directory and then slash map dot yam and launch that and there you can see that a new rvis configuration just opened so we're going to get rid of this and so you can see better there you go um, this make this better for you guys so you can see how it's trying to uh, localize itself those green particles is the AMCL node which is sort of um, doing the localization for the for the navigation and um, here we can go ahead and start sort of forcing our move base node to start um, trying to move um, so we're going to do that. We're going to, um, to do that, just hit this 2D navigation goal. And here it's localizing correctly, but once it start move, starts moving around, it'll do a better job. And you can see how it eventually will arrive to the goal you specify. So let's, um, let's, for example, pick this, so click and then hold, and this arrow will appear. And just move it around, and this is the orientation for the end pose. So we'll just do this, just drop it there. And it's taken a while because it's trying to localize itself. So there you go, you can see how it's moving around to and the localization starts to get better and those arrows, which are those green arrows. So, there you go, it's kind of jumping around because it doesn't really know where it is. But once it does, you know, the path is aligned and you can see that the green arrows for localization are pretty much right on spot as opposed to in the beginning where you know didn't know where it was and all those arrows were all over the place so there you go it's 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 going to its location and at the end it's going to align itself like we told it to and that's it that's sort of the basics of autonomous navigation with the most popular um, ROS package for this, which is move base. And the great thing about this is that Robotis already sort of built the basics for this. And all you got to do is t uh, launch the correct nodes. And you can see that it's just working right up out of the box, which is amazing. Um, so there you go. I hope I answered your question and I'll see you guys tomorrow for, I'm sorry, next week for our next video. Um, okay, bye-bye.